volts. If we look at this, then let's just, I'll show you it a couple different ways. I'm gonna pull this to the right. I could say, let's say this is gonna be X times uh, P times P of X brackets. I'm gonna make this black, white, centered, and wrap. And so I could say this is gonna be then this times this, right? And I'm gonna copy that all the way down. So, and then let's say that this is gonna add, let's add uh, some decimals here. So basically we could say in the one minute time interval, right? There's a likelihood that one person arrives. Uh, we have 17.8%. So that would be like, uh, 0.18% of a person, right? If we were to calculate this out to try to get the mean, right? And if the likelihood in one minute time of two people arrive is going to be the 24.3%. So we can say that'd be like 0.49% of a person. So then if I, if I multiply that out and then I add up the, this, I'm going to equals the sum of this control shift down and I add a decimal home tab number group adding some decimals there's our mean so we can also calculate so you can see that's the mean that we came up to over here so we can also calculate that using a function which is a good time to introduce we can use the sum product so if I want to do that this way I can say this equals the sum product brackets and then I've got my two arrays because I want to multiply then uh, this array times this array so I'm going to select this entire array control shift down and then say comma the next argument or, or the next array is going to be this control shift down and enter so now I should get the same thing home tab number couple decimals now if we wanted to get to the variance we could do that a couple different ways I'm, I'm gonna pull this over I'm gonna pick these two up I'm gonna control X and put them over here control V and then I'll add another column here this column is gonna be then X uh, minus the mean and I'll pick this up and say home tab and clipboard and so now I'm gonna say this is gonna be X this number minus the mean, which we've calculated a few different ways. Let's pull it over here. I'm gonna F4 to make that an absolute reference, F4 and enter. And then I can add a couple decimals, number group, adding a couple decimals, fill handle, copy that down. So I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna square it. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be squared and I'll format paint this, home tab, paintbrush, squared to do that i'm going to say equals the cell to the left caret shift six two to get to the power of two or squared entered i can add a couple decimals there double click on the fill handle bringing it down and now i'm going to take that column times the uh p of x times p of x and i'll put my cursor here paintbrush here and then this is going to be equal to this that we just calculated times the p of x percent and let's add uh, some decimals decimal decimalizing it double click bringing that down and so to get to the variance one way we can do that variance is i'm going to say equals the sum of these items control shift down enter and if i add some decimals we get to the same 2.73 because that's part of the relationship of a poisson distribution and this is the perfect poisson distribution now you can also do that variance calculation just to practice the sum product function so we'll say this equals sum product this is an array formula i want another bracket because i'm going to take it to the power of two or square it put my cursor on 
cell uh, A, B, 2, control shift down on the keyboard so I can go down to the bottom. I'm holding control backspace so I can go back up top with the keyboard. And then I want to take each of those minus the mean, which I'll pick up here in uh, A, K. So I'm going to pull this down. And so we have that closing the brackets, taking it to the power of two. So I'll say uh, shift six caret to the power of two square in it. And then the second bit comma, the second array is now going to be uh, here, A, C, two, control shift down. And then I'm going to hold control backspace to go back up to the top and close up the brackets and enter. So there we have it. I'm going to then go to the home tab and uh, font group and add some decimals. And once again, we have the variance should be the same uh, as the mean. So just a little bit of practice with the Excel formulas there. Now, some other questions that we might ask from like a from like a practical standpoint is we might say, we might ask, what's the likelihood that we have equal to or less than three arrivals within a one minute time period? These are the kind of questions we can ask. Now, if I plotted everything out over here, I could say, well, these, this is the likelihood that, that zero people arrive, exactly one people arrive, exactly two people, three people, and I could sum those up. I could say, okay, this is equal to the sum of these, 